this one, we're gonna do the problem from Doppler effect. In this case, we know that sound frequency is constant, but if you are listening a sound frequency by relative motion, then the sound frequency we are hearing from the source is different, which will change. So you can also um, feel this one. If train is approaching towards you, and if you, train is going away from you, same horn coming from the train, same sound coming from the train, you will see differently. So here I'm doing two problems. One is there is relative, both of them are, have relative motion, but they are approaching each other in first one. And second one is their, the first one is their going away from each other and second one is they're approaching each other. So let's look at the first one. When the bell in a clock tower rings with the sound of 475 hertz, which is given, that is a frequency of given frequency, which is standard fre frequency of that bell. So let's write this given values, okay? I'm writing given values at first. The first one is given frequency, F is 475 hertz, okay? Now pigeon roasting in the bell fry, fries directly above from the bell. So it is flying directly above from the bell, means initially above the bell, so it's flying, so it means it is going away. So it is going away from the bell. Bell is stationary, pigeon is moving. So it is going away from the bell. So what do you think? What should be the frequency he heard? So he usually heard less frequency because he is going away from it. So which is given. So the change in frequency Observe change in frequency due to bell by moving away from the source is given 448 hertz. So what is the relation between these two? If you look at original equation, if there is a relative motion between this and F dash, which is change of frequency is given by one minus U divided by V times F. So here V is, velocity of wave, which is sound, in this case is sound, yes. U is the speed of object which is listening. In our case is the pigeon is listening. So we have to calculate what is U. What is the velocity the pigeon is moving? Okay, in first case, I have to calculate what is a pigeon velocity, okay? Oops. What is a pigeon velocity? So U is equal to what? Now I can substitute all of these values and solve together. So if I rearrange this, F dash divided by F. I can divide F both sides, then you'll get one minus U divided by V. Yes. And I can take this U and divide by V one side, which is U divided by V. So or I can add U divided by V both sides, then I'll get one minus F dash divided by F. So it means u is equal to, I can multiply v both sides, one minus f, f dash divided by f times v. So one is one, f dash is 448, which is less frequency heard by this pigeon when it is good, moving away from it, divided by 475, which is source frequency, 
times v is velocity of wave in this case is sound. So that is in room temperature is about 343 meter per second. Yes. So if I solve this equation using calculator, I'll get 19, roughly about 19.5 meter per second. So the speed and speed is 19.5 meter square. 19.5 meter per second. Okay, sorry. Now, second one, a car approaches a train station with a speed of 24 meter per second. Yes, so this is a speed of train, which is speed of object that is given 24 meter per second. A stationary train, train at the station sound frequency, which is given frequency of source, that is 166 hertz. Okay. Now, what is the frequency heard by the driver on the um, driver of the car? Okay. So we have to calculate F dash, the change of frequency of what? Okay. Now we know that already. So velocity of sound in air is 343 meter per second at room temperature, approximately. So in this case, it is approaching. So it is approaching means frequency should have to be higher. So instead of negative sign in first equation, we do have positive sign to get um, higher value. So one plus U divided by V times F. So switch all these values which is given, one plus U is 24 divided by V is 343 meter per second times frequency, which is of the source is 166 hertz. So if you multiply all of them together and solve it, we'll get 178 hertz. So now this one is greater than the source frequency because the driver is coming towards the train. So by looking this two equation, two problems, we can understand if two sources, source and listener, source and listener coming together, then listener will hard, listener will hear higher frequency, but if they are going apart, if relative motion is longer, so it means they are going apart, if, if, if they are not approaching, they are separating, then frequency is, frequency heard by this listener is less. In one sentence, if they are coming closer, the frequency here by this listener is higher. If they are going away from each other, then the frequency here by this listener is less.